Let me ask you, I know you're not happy about any of this, but are you, do you feel uh, some kind of relief, something knowing that Chris is at least behind bars for the rest of his life? Is that something, how do you feel about that? Hey everybody, it's me Josh with Hope and tonight I am conducting a session for Shanann Watts. It's been a little over five years since her gruesome murder done by her husband, Chris Watts. He murdered uh, in cold blood his wife, Shanann, and their three children. Two of them were alive and their third child was, uh, Shanann was still pregnant with. Many people have asked for her, um, mostly when this happened. Recently, I have felt some kind of inspiration to ask for her. Um, as I started to look at the details of the case, I was just terribly disturbed, just as most of you were when this happened. Um, I have two daughters, 11 and five, my partner, Nikki, who I've been with for almost 14 years now, is pregnant with our third daughter. It's just unfathomable how something like this can happen. It's pure evil. And I didn't know if I'd be even able to ask for her because of what happened. But I want to give her an opportunity. I want to use my ability as I use um, every day to help people connect with their loved ones as I do sessions to show you on this channel. I want to give Shanann a chance to speak. Of course, I do not know if she will come through. Now I have some of her voice that I was able to take and reverse slow dramatically and then chop up into small two second increments and randomize. This allows me to have a voice track of the person's voice called the Hope Voice Signature Method and it gives them a voice track, a wordless gibberish voice track of no words for them to take and form their own responses with. So I am going to do that and I do hope she comes through and if she has anything that she would like to say. <clears throat> of course, at the end of the session, when I turn off the cameras, I will uh, say uh, a set of prayers and I will focus on light and hope that anything I'm doing will help and be of assistance. All right. Okay, so I've got the warm-up app running. I have invited my guides, Michael, Chris, Brian, Patrick, and Betsy, and any of the other approved HOPE helpers to assist with Shanann and bringing, bringing her through. Okay, so now I will bring myself to the astral room and Invite her, go to connect with her energy. So as I set foot into the astral room, I'm just going to verbally say, you know, Shanann Watts, Shanann Watts, I am inviting you to come through. Shanann Watts. <laughs> I 
feel like I see her coming in. I see her in white. And I do see her children, two of them. I do not know if her son, who she was pregnant with, is, is present. Can any of the guides say anything? Sounds like good. I feel like there are two with me. I'm gonna shut off the warm-up app now. I am going to choose Shanann's voice track that I created for her. There it is. I'm going to adjust the speed a little. Shanann, I greet you. You look wonderful. You look beautiful. I saw you smiling. I see you wearing white, if that's what I, that's right. It's what I'm seeing. It feels like the children are wearing white. I greet their little wonderful souls. Can you use this? I was just so um, disturbed by what happened to you. I knew of what happened to you when it happened, but getting reacquainted with everything, um, it, it just hits home. It, it, I have daughters. I can't imagine anything like this happening, and it's just beyond anything. Um, so forgive me. If, you know, you feel sadness within me because of this. But I want to ask you, uh, it's been some time now. How are you doing? How are you on the other side, Shanann? You are still someone that people think about, that people remember because of this heinous crime, because of what happened to you. I'm sure there is, I'm sure it's taken some time for you on the other side to adjust, to move through the pain. Have you um, processed that pain? Have you, are you in a better place, do you feel, Shanann? I see the girls with you. I even felt like after a moment of focusing, I saw what appears to be Nico, your son, who you were pregnant with at the time. Is everyone okay on the other side? Something them. Now, Many people have asked for you through equipment, mediums, and ITC paranormal people. And I don't really make a habit of watching other people's sessions. I might check on them, but how do you feel using this equipment? How do you feel using this? You know, I trust in my spirit team, they care. Um, I wanna say some prayers with you, for you, if you're okay with that. Um, I don't necessarily think you need a lot of help at this point, but I, I still wanna offer you some light and love. Is that okay? Let me ask you, I know you're not happy about any of this, but are you, do you feel uh, some kind of relief, something knowing that 
Chris is at least behind bars for the rest of his life. Is that something, how do you feel about that? Cannot something. All right, work with me on this box. I'm gonna switch over real quick, okay? Sounds like you said connect. I don't know if you said that. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna plug in. Okay. So let's try this, let's see. Hold on. All right, Shanann, can you use this box? I see what looks like Bella kind of running around. I see kind of CC a little closer to you. Um, seems like Nico's on your lap. Again, I, if I'm wrong about any of this, you know, you can correct me and it's just part of the visualization of what I'm getting. Again, I'm gonna ask you, how are you doing? Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Is there anything that you want to clear up? Anything that you want to tell us about what's happening now? What, you know, like, well, let me ask you this. Is there, you know, what are you doing on the other side? What do you guys do? Are you still kind of just living your, your afterlife in a sense, your, you know, your life on the other side with your children? Um, are you living with them? Um, what are you doing? Again, as I said, I, I don't know if you've had a divine experience. Have you experienced the light? Have you met God? Have you felt God on the other side there? Yeah, I have. Okay. Good. Very good. Is there anything that you want to say to the people that your case, your situation has touched, that you, you know, you've touched many lives with what happened. And there's a lot of love that people have given you, have sent you through prayer. Um, anything that you want to say to them, the ones that will see this, What's the most important thing that you would want us to know today? What's the most important thing that you would just want to say today? Anything that you want to share? What is the most important thing that you feel that you would like to tell us? say prayers with you. I'm going to invite you to do that. I'm going to ask my guides to help. I'm going to invite Christ to be with us as I know he is, to blanket us in his light. Is there any final message that you want to say tonight through here? say prayers any anything else before um, I stop the cameras and say prayers with you all right 
right, so I want to thank you all for watching. One thing I definitely want to say is that as you watch these sessions and you hear this communication, even though it's already been filmed and we've done the session, you can always stop and you can close your eyes and envision the person that I'm connecting with and send them prayers, send them light. You can pray for them and they will feel it and they will appreciate it. So I'm sure Shanann will appreciate any love that you guys send her. Um, and any of the other sessions that you see me doing, you can do that with them as well. Uh, I thank you. I love you all. And until next time.